In this video, we'll define a fulfillment process for catalog items using service fulfillment steps. We're logged in as Beth, a business owner who needs to build a laptop request catalog item for the developer team. We select the template and update the item name and description. We can see the location for the catalog item. Questions? Portal settings? And who it'll be available for. All we have left to configure is the fulfillment method. You can either choose an existing flow created in Flow Designer or in Workflow. We'll select the Flow Designer process engine. Since we have simple steps, we'll use step-based fulfillment to define our fulfillment process. There are three options when defining steps. Add task, custom approval, or manager approval. Your administrator can configure more options to display in this list. In our example, the first step will request a manager's approval only if the employee needs the request filled today. Conditions like this can be added to any step, including the steps that are configured by an administrator. Our next step is approval from the IT procurement group, so we need to add a custom approval. We can also specify if any or all the members need to approve the request. You can change the sequence of steps here as well. You can also change the sequence of steps while editing or in the list of steps. And from here, you can also change the sequence of steps. We're ready to add our next task, which is to get a quote for the laptop and its accessories. Assign it to a group or a user and set the priority. Now we need to procure the laptop and then the accessories at the same time. When we add this step to procure the laptop accessories, we can specify that it needs to be done with the previous step. And we can see that the two steps are together. We can separate them by clicking the separate icon or use drag and drop to merge them again. Let's add the next step, this time using the insert icon. For this step, the laptop might need additional applications installed. We'll add a condition to execute only if the initial laptop request requires it. The last step is to deliver the laptop and accessories to the employee, which we assign to the facilities group. Now we provide an estimated time for delivery. We're ready to review and submit our catalog item. But first, let's see how it looks in preview. We can preview in the portal, now mobile, and virtual agent if it is installed. It looks good, so let's submit it. Our item is now in the publishing state and ready for final approval by an administrator. This is how you create a catalog item in Catalog Builder using a step-based fulfillment method. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.